I'm Jacob Robinson. I'm an assistant professor of electrical engineering at Rice University. My lab is actually working at this interface between electrical engineering and neuroscience. And what we like to imagine is creating technologies that can be implanted inside the body, made so small that they barely interact with the biological tissue. And they can be distributed in the brain and throughout the rest of the body. And what they'll do is they'll sit there and they'll monitor activity to try to understand what's happening normally in healthy individuals. And then to give stimulation capabilities to these same kinds of devices that start to restore function both to the brain and to the body in a natural way that's smart, that feeds back on the signals that it's recording. And the hope is that with these kind of tiny stimulators that can be implanted in the body, we can start to treat disorders that might be related to pain or depression um, that are resistant to traditional pharmaceutical treatments. One of the things that I'm particularly excited about is the idea of using magnetic fields as a way to interact with those cells. The reason why I think magnetic fields are really important for these kinds of applications is that magnetic fields penetrate our body very easily. Now the challenge is can we use these magnetic fields to deliver power to microscale devices that can stimulate and record brain activity. One of the wonderful things about the Brain Initiative is that uh, they've been able to fund engineers that are working at this interface with neuroscience and neurotechnology who might not normally be pushing their research in that direction. And then to connect these types of engineers with the scientists who are asking the questions. Thanks to the funding and support that we've had from projects in the Brain Initiative, uh, we've now been able to take some ideas and translate them into devices and technologies that are beginning to make their way into the hands of our collaborators in neuroscience and our uh, clinical collaborators um, at the medical center. The Brain Initiative is, is, is really open-minded about supporting ideas that might be outside your comfort zone and try to find support from collaborators who will help fill those gaps. For people who are considering the Brain Initiative as a way uh, to support their work, I would probably give them three pieces of advice. Uh, be bold, uh, reach outside your comfort zone, and talk to people. Talk to lots of people who are outside your discipline. So go ahead and, and, and put your, your wildest and craziest ideas out there.